Hello, um, my name's Anea Prosser and I'm a second year PhD student in um, Social, Moral and Environmental Psychology at the University of Bath and this is my poster for the SPSP 2021 convention and it's called Changing Masks, Minds and Morals, the Unifying Role of Policy Intervention for Moralised Practices. So just to give an overview of what this is about, um, we need a lot of drastic and really rapid behaviour change to solve a lot of the problems that we face in society. So things like the climate crisis, if we don't act within the next sort of 10 years, if we don't drastically reduce our emissions in the next 10 years or so, we're going to set in motion a lot of feedback loops that are going to make it very difficult to reverse global warming in the long term. And this is the same case for a lot of different crises that we face. So a recent one was like the COVID-19 pandemic. We require loads of behaviour change really quickly to halt the effects of the pandemic and countries that did do all of that behaviour change really quickly are now not seeing the effects, whereas countries that didn't do it quickly, like my home country, the UK, and also the US, are still seeing really negative effects of the pandemic like a lot later on. So we need to change behaviour. And one way that we would like to be able to change behaviour ideally is just really informal social processes. So that's people choosing to change their behaviour or their own volition and getting other people to change their behaviour as well. And while that's a perfect kind of circumstance, often that doesn't happen quickly enough to make the differences that we need. So we could have left it completely up to people's choice whether they start wearing masks, um, but that didn't make an impact quickly enough to reduce the pandemic spread in the way that we needed it to. So sometimes what we need to do instead is we need to intervene with policy. And policy intervention can be a really good thing for the changing behaviour because it basically means that something is either legal or illegal to do, right? But what we don't know is how policy intervention changes these kind of really informal ways of um, social influence. There will always be three different types of people when it comes to policy intervention surrounding particular practices. There will be people that were committed to doing that practice before policy intervention came in. In the case of like eating meat, for example, these committed practitioners are vegans or vegetarians who don't need the policy to scaffold their own behaviour. And then we also have people who are converted as a result of policy intervention. So in the case of eating meat, if there, if there was a ban on eating red meat, these would be all of the meat eaters that are then forced not to eat red meat, not necessarily because they would choose to on their own, but because they chose to comply as a result of this policy. And then the final group, which we're not going to talk about too much today, is the criminalised. So basically people that don't change their behaviour, their behaviour then becomes illegal to do. So we're going to focus on these groups of the committed and the converted. And what we don't know is how policy influences how these groups respond to each other and how they moralise and identify with particular practices. So this is what my study aims to look at. It aims to see whether policy intervention is overall a good thing in that it reduces um, intergroup differences in polarisation or to see whether it's a bad thing and it increases all of these in-group arguments and polarisation and that kind of thing. So what I did, if I go to the next slide, so we had a two by two longitudinal repeated measures design with data collected one week before and two months after mandatory mask policy intervention. And these were split according to people that were consistently mask wearers and people who converted to wearing masks at a later date. And again, we were investigating this research question of, does policy unify these groups or does it polarise these groups? And overwhelmingly, what we found across a variety of different indices is that, yes, po mandatory mask policy reduces practice group differences in moralisation, identification, and also um, people's willingness to confront others as well. So we see that people who convert to wearing masks don't significantly differ in their moralisation of wearing masks to people who are committed the whole time in their identification as well. And also people who converted to wearing masks were just as willing as those who were committed to wearing masks from the beginning to confront a friend to wear a mask if they saw them not wearing a mask after policy intervention. So what these findings show is that actually, like while policy intervention can seem like a risky thing to do, overwhelmingly it can be a really good thing for reducing these intergroup processes that might make it difficult to get behaviour into the mainstream basically.